Nablus, West Bank. The tiny twins didn't cry like the other babies did. Their small sounds and snuffles were barely audible above the lilting bleeps of incubators in the neonatal ward. It wasn't normal, the staff agreed, but no one had been able to reach their mother. Her phone number was scrawled on a post-it note tacked to the inside of three-month-old Muayed's plastic cot, so the nurses could keep sending her pictures of the babies, could keep calling until someone picked up. The silences lasted days, sometimes longer. To be separated like that, a nurse murmured as she smoothed a pink blanket around the sleeping child, it's a terrible thing. When Israel sealed its border with the Gaza Strip after Hamas's deadly assault on October 7, Muayyad and Mahmoud were among several dozen premature babies receiving care at neonatal wards in Israel and the occupied West Bank. Now, a war that has claimed the lives of more than 11,000 Gazans and erased entire families has also parted newborns from their mothers and fathers. Before the conflict, Palestinians were only allowed to leave Gaza and enter Israel under special circumstances, including for life-saving medical treatment that is not available in the enclave after 16 years of an Israeli and Egyptian blockade. The Nablus hospital caring for Muayyad and Mahmoud receives about 40 women with high-risk pregnancies each year, each of them granted a permit to enter Israel for a period of weeks. If a baby needs to stay in the incubator longer, the mother must return to Gaza and start the process again. The distress of a new mother deepens as the clock winds down. When it's time to go, a hospital can only offer her a last chance to scoop the baby from its incubator and hold it close. They leave in agony, one hospital administrator said. Most of the medical staff and Palestinian mothers interviewed for this story spoke on the condition of anonymity, citing security concerns for staff and patients. In the aftermath of October 7, hundreds of Palestinians from Gaza, including hospital patients with permits, were arbitrarily detained by security forces, rights groups say. The mothers trapped in Gaza have spent the past month and a half cowering in fear as Israeli airstrikes shake the earth and ground forces encircle the north of the enclave. Rooms that expecting parents decorated lovingly for new babies have been smashed. Clothes that infants would have worn in their earliest weeks have been lost to the rubble. With communication networks shaky, text messages pleading for news of the baby's health often don't go through. The photographs sent back don't always download. On Thursday, the territory was plunged into near-total blackout, and the updates stopped flowing altogether. Muayyad and Mahmoud were born on August 3 at just 29 weeks, the girl weighing three and a half pounds, her brother a little under seven. By August 5, it was time for their mother, Sabrine, to go, 